Hey guys, how's it going? So today I'm going to give you a tutorial on how to bleed a hydraulic clutch system in your car. Um, so when I was driving the Land Cruiser back from a full drive trip the other weekend, um, the clutch pedal sort of went a bit spongy and wouldn't disengage properly. So I suspect there's a bit of air in the hydraulic system. Um, and you know, the fluid looks a, a bit dark and discoloured, so I'll put some new fluid through it. Um, so I'm going to bleed through the hydraulic clutch system some new fluid and also put a new dust boot on the transmission. Alright guys, so in the engine bay of the car, so you've got your master cylinder here, which is the brake master cylinder. Um, so I actually replaced that not too long ago because the seals inside it failed. And next to it, we've got the clutch master cylinder. So you can see the fluid inside there is pretty dark. Compared to the fluid in this one, so you can see that you know the fluid's quite old. Probably hasn't been changed. So you can see when the clutch pedal is depressed, it um, pushes the hydraulic fluid down into the back of this piston, and then the piston end pushes out onto the clutch fork, which then disengages the clutch. We're just going to put a new boot on there, because um, you can see the boot's missing from here. And every time we go forward driving, it's letting mud and water in there and all that sort of thing. And you can hear a bit of a screech and a uh, sort of noise coming from this pivot point so what you're going to do is um, take off this piston and then fit the boot we'll put a bit of grease on this pivot point um, to stop it screeching and then um, yeah reassemble it and then bleed it I think that's sitting in there right now. Just use a bit of scotch pad and clean up the pivot point on this piston. Get all the mud off it, all the dust. Now that's all cleaned up, just going to put some grease on the pivot points. So we've fitted the new boot to the clutch fork, we've lubricated the pivot point here. That's all good, you can see lubricating the clutch fork there has fixed that squeak. So sometimes on four drives, if the bleed nipple on the slave cylinder um, piston doesn't have a cover on it, you'll get mud and dirt in there, um, so it can make it pretty hard to bleed. Um, so sometimes you might have to get someone to depress the pedal, pull the nipple out, and actually clean it through, which is what I'm going to have to do. Um, and then you can bleed it as you normally would. So 
you can see how it's all blocked with mud so it's not going to bleed through properly so we'll just clean this out and that's why because it's full of mud You can see how dark that fluid is. Alright, if you can just depress the clutch pedal yeah, another four times and then just hold it. And again. Alright, we're getting somewhere. It's much clearer now. Again. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Fluid's pretty clear now compared to what it was before. Don't put trust, understand